Let's see, let's see. Hopefully we're live. Let's check it out. Nice, nice, nice. Hello everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is December 16th, 2020. And we're doing a cooking live stream. We're gonna make some chicken curry and a Persian barberry rice dish like a casserole and we're going to use some potatoes and whatnot and uh, as before uh, we've done a few of these uh, cooking streams i have my recipe check this out this is like professional style recipe i wrote down what i do <laughs> on the last time i made this so i could do it for you guys uh, in an efficient manner right so i wouldn't forget anything um, but uh, basically, let me show you the ingredients. Actually, before we do that, because the notifications take a while, uh, sometimes after 10, 15 minutes, sometimes they don't come out until like way, way later uh, on Twitch and Discord. So let me guys, uh, let me give you my lowdown of what this is all about and my little intro. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y, C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics, I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And uh, if you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so over here. Uh, you can follow the work, and after a while, if you think this work deserves your support and you'd like to see it grow, Again, the Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. We are live streaming on Twitch. Okay. There's a chat going to be popping up here Boop. with people uh, joining our little live stream. And if you want to watch these live streams live, uh, participate in the discussion, uh, join the community, Twitch. <laughs> is, is a good place to be it's where we're doing our live streams for those of you who've been supporting this work on twitch following sharing liking subscribing commenting see that how you doing <laughs> uh, joining our live streams uh for whatever reason whatever your your desire is thank you very much for the support and the mods as always thank you very much for taking care of business and being here we do announce these live streams, Epstein X. Oh my, oh my. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Elo, Minds, VK, Gab, and Twitter. Donite, how are you doing, brother? How's life, man? How's Europe doing? You guys, nine hours ahead, eight hours ahead, eight or nine hours ahead. Uh, we do announce these live streams on those platforms 30 minutes before we go live. Free Assange. Gates and see them. <laughs> and thank you for the follows, gang. Uh, apologies if I'm gonna miss them. Whoop, whoop, cooking stream, Rendell, Rendell, how are you doing? Fun stuff, fun stuff. Pretty good, important day tomorrow for my future. Is it? What's up, Danite? What's going on? Exams, results, job, interview. Hopefully, it's good. We'll send you our best for tomorrow for sure um, so you can follow the work on these platforms hell yeah Chicho is cooking yeah. double o negative how are you doing like a trial day for a job oh like a the last interview uh sort of for the job oh relax when you go in i've gone through those before um so it could be nerve-wracking but it's good to know just have faith in your own your own abilities right epstein uh do you they will allow maxwell oh we're we're not going to talk, talk politics <laughs> here we got a little power thing no politics on the cooking streams politics because now that there's crazy censorship going on on youtube uh, the current event stream, we're doing it in two days. We can talk about to your heart's content, anything you want, because that stuff is not being loaded on YouTube. So we can go crazy on it, right? Uh, but I know Epstein. 
for some reason, I thought you might be interested in that conversation, right? No politics, no politics. Hi, Chicho. Cheryl, how are you doing? Fine, I'm here for cakes. Here for cakes. Awesome, brother. And really, in two days, current events, we go ballistic. We can definitely talk about it. I'm going to keep track of it, for sure. Right? Um, and we do have a Discord page where there's a lot of people joining the Discord social. If you can, you can go on our chat anytime you want ah oh, oh, what do you call it if you can you can go to our chat anytime where is it ding, 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 over here and we do have a discord page where there's a lot of people who have joined the discord channel and they're sharing information talking discussing doing a lot of things diet thugs and thank you very much for the tier one sub tyson terror how are you doing hello hello Hope everybody's doing well, gang. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, and we're going to have visuals today, we do upload the audio to SoundCloud as podcasts, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you want to support this work on those channels, you can follow, you can like, you can subscribe, you can turn on notifications. And if you've you're on YouTube, you've discovered that you've been unsubscribed from my channel accidentally, and maybe the notifications hasn't been turned on or accidentally turned off. You might want to subscribe again and turn on notifications uh, because of the you know, shenanigans going on, right? Uh, aside from that, gang, oh yeah, and the last thing, for those of you who are supporting this work on YouTube through YouTube membership, and there's a button down here, thank you very much for the support gang and again the support on twitch and again the support on patreon and the direct support we've been getting lots of love in the conversations it's because of your support we're able to do this and continue to do this work and grow it okay slow mo the way we like make sure we're doing it right i'm going to take these guys down gang and i'm going to show you what we got we're going to get into the cooking right away we're going to make a persian um, we're gonna make it we're gonna make chicken curry and we're gonna make a Persian barberry rice dish and barberries are these guys and they're phenomenal like the ridiculous amount of vitamin C in this is insane all right and I'll show you guys this elder God I have been unsubscribed from a couple of channels as it happens indeed this is what barberries look like right they're very tart tangy okay so we're gonna make a Persian rice dish with that I'm gonna layer it with uh, chicken curry in the bottom i'll show you all that stuff but what we need to do is get the um uh, onions uh caramelizing right away so i'm going to turn on my cameras here okay okay so we're going to do some chopping uh cut up the onions and basically get into uh, get the onions caramelizing right away i'm going to take off my glasses as well i think i have my text high enough big enough and i want to cook i'm gonna cut up here let me show you usually i like dealing with big onions cooking onions but the place i went to didn't have any organic large onions so i bought the little organic onions so we're gonna cut these guys up here let me put this here cut these guys up and chop them up and caramelize them here okay my mouth is watering and I have never heard of this dish. <laughs> You'll like it. It's really good. It is super delicious. Really. It's fantastic. Okay. Onions. And these things, I think they make more water. My eyes uh, water a little bit. So. Hola. Diet like How are you doing? We're gonna need a few onions because I'm gonna use the onions with the side dish as well. Um, and we've made the side dish before. It was sort of, um, what do you call it? Dates, raisins, and onions, caramelized onions. Chicho, head chef position has opened up in my 40k year. How they got? Thanks for the offer, brother. <laughs> Can we live stream? Dude, live stream, live stream the kitchen. Oh my God, that would be amazing. 24 hour, not 24 hour, but as long as you're open, you just live stream. That, if I decide to leave out of Canada, I would come. Okay, I would come. 
and we make our own dishes and then we put out a cookbook and then we do ASMR math videos related to the dishes we make in the pub, which is basically what I'm doing here. At some point, we're going to bring it all together, right? At some point, at some point. I'd watch it. Yeah. Yes, do this, Cheryl says. <laughs> so let me try, let me get this going. And I'm going to turn this guy on right now. I'm going to put it on low and I'm going to do it with the olive oil gang. Okay. Now I'm going to put a fair bit of olive oil because we're going to put a fair bit of onions in there. Traveling stream rest special. Really? It'd be amazing. Like those would be cooking streams you want to watch. Like without the edits, real time. And you know exactly how long it takes to do something. You know the mistakes that happen because mistakes happen during cooking, right? My eyes are already watering with these onions. But I'm not restaurant fast in my cooking. I enjoy it too much. My new YouTube channel will not make it till January. No, I don't think so. The stuff you're sharing, no, it ain't gonna happen, man. Give Shishu a big man hug, see that. Let it all out, dude, it's okay. <laughs> So the tears will start pouring. I love cast iron. Yeah, cast iron is the way to go, really. Um, it is heavy, so I, I can appreciate where as you get older, uh, you might not want to use the cast iron. But for now, it's the only way to go. We do have some. Well, actually, we don't have any other pans. Well, we do have pans, other pans, but we don't use them. Take a sip of water and leave it in your mouth while cutting these onions. It helps with the crying. Really? It helps with the tingling? Like, I'm not going to... It doesn't really get me totally watery. It's very... Um, what do you call it? It hits the eyes. But I'm going to try that as soon as I put this, uh, this thing here for compost. I'm going to take a sip of water. How about liqueur? Will, will liqueur work? <laughs> liqueur work the same? This is a, a Cornelian cherry liqueur from like, I made it, I don't know, like three years ago. So I'm going through some of the older Cornelian cherries, uh, liqueurs, some of the older liqueurs that we have, because we made a whole bunch of new ones, right? So I'm gonna put some ice in here. It's nice, colder, it's strong. I'm crying just watching you. Let me put some ice in. Chicho, we are we are too busy to cook to order our popular stuff. We only cook meat to order. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You do pre-cooks, that's right. So that would work. You just come in and do all the pre-cooks at like starting at like four o'clock in the morning. And you're all set, right? Salute, gang. Thank you for being here. I hope so. You have some amazing food today. Okay, guys, I'm going to start. I'm going to start chopping these guys. So the odds are I won't be able to follow the chat too well. I like to keep them intact when I'm cutting them. You know? That way, the next cut I do is just going to be. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Right? I'll show it to you. I 
and it just basically cuts them to the to the size that I want. And these are basically uh, when I'm caramelizing onions or cooking them up, and, or using any type of stew or anything. This is the size that I usually chop the onions. I don't go. It's rare that I go smaller than this. And I usually put a little bit of pressure on this side so the onions don't fall apart. They keep their integrity, stay this way. Right. I've had professional friends and professional chefs. They're like, what the, what are you doing? But it works for me. Right. So we got them all chopped up in this way. Now all I'm just gonna do is do this and just chop them up. Right. And this one, I don't care to keep it all together. I want it broken up. Let me just grab it, bring it over. some downtime once we put the stuff in the in the oven to cook because we're gonna f try to get the bottom all crispy again it won't get crispy but it'll just get nice and juicy nice and saucy with the with the barberries and the and the curry chicken but the first order of business caramelize the onions cook up the onions I forgot to put something in my mouth and hold it. Knife sharpening makes them from goodness. I know I should have sharpened. I sharpened it during the last stream, but I forgot to sharpen it today. But once we get going on it, I ain't gonna I'm not gonna sharpen it. I'm just gonna go with it. We don't have too much cutting to do actually. We got some. We're gonna cut up some potatoes as well. Okay, this is good. I might chop up a little bit more. I'm gonna chop up a little bit more. And we're gonna put the lid on it. Let's put the lid on this guy. Close it up. Oh, here's my onions. I'm gonna chop up three more. Okay. We're gonna cook enough food to uh, probably last us at least three days. Onions is good for you. Onions. Chicho, your skills are fine. You're hired. <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> My mom will have to come as a sidekick. She'll be managing everything. No, 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 don't cut it this way, cut it this way, cut it this way. But her food, oh my God. And she's like Speedy Gonzalez, firecracker. Right? That's what I learned from. Raw onions are the best snacks ever, haha. <laughs> Indeed, they could be with flat, uh, flat uh, bread pita bread you put a little bit of somal in there and onions seriously i've eaten those as snacks fantastic cheryl that would be awesome <laughs> i've tried to bring my mom on, on live stream i i told her we should do this back in the mid 2000s we just make videos she was a little shy right 
But she does watch these cooking streams. And gives me commentary. <laughs> Chicho, you must improve your technique here. It's the only way you improve, right? Take some constructive criticism. Raw onions like apples. Uh, I personally wouldn't eat raw onions like apples. I like onions in salads. Uh, onions in sandwiches. So good. So good. Onion skin in there. Initially, I cook up the onions. Uh, it's not super high heat, but these stove tops get hot, right? So I cook them up so they're getting a little bit on the darker burnt side. A little bit, a little bit. And then I kick it down a lot. Hello, Chicho. Cheryl. Hello, Chicho's mom. Ha ha. Bare kezi mom. She's watching. I just told her uh, they're sending you uh, salutations. Thanks, Cheryl. Yeah, my family's in Canada for sure. Yeah, most of my family, anyway. Most of my immediate family. I got lots of family in the United States, and some in Iran, and some in Armenia, and some in France, and some in Germany. And, uh, I'm kicking this up, the onions, up to four. We need it cooked up, right? That made me ridiculous. Awesome, Cheryl. <laughs> See, that says hello as well. Chicho, for all curry spice, uh, oven for uh, uh, roast first or uh, no? No, we're going to use, uh, I'll bring out the chicken. We're going to use uh, uh, skinless, boneless chicken thighs. That's what we're using for the chicken, for the chicken curry. It's got a little bit of fat. It's it's soft enough. It's not chicken breast where it's totally dry. Um, it comes out really good. It comes out really good. Uh, we don't need the onions anymore. Let's put the onions over here. Okay. I'm just gonna give this a wash. Get rid of the onion juices a little bit. Okay. Even though we're gonna be cooking with onions, it's gonna have the onion flavor in there. Just gotta give it a little. Bit. here for now okay and the curry spice I'm using it's very gentle it's uh, this isn't the jar for it it's not a strong curry flavor like it gentle curry okay you don't want to overwhelm too much because the barberries are crazy strong right very strong flavor of the barberries what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna cut up some uh, dates. Here's the dates. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut up a fair bit because I soaked a fair bit of rice. Uh, I soaked two and a half cups of rice. Okay. So we're gonna cook up two and a half cups of rice, uh, just because that way we can eat it for like three days, three, three, four days even, right? Um, so I'm gonna cook up a fair bit of the side sweet dish. Get this a little. Flip, flip. Come here, you. Just a little bit of onion skin. Get rid of it. I'm going to kick up the temperature on this gang. Okay. 
I want to kick this up to six. Kick it up faster. Hello, fan James Bond. Crack. Oh, I see. You use curry paste. I was uh, talking about the spice mix itself. Uh, I've heard that giving the spices a ro oh the roast first is the best way. I've never tried that. Crack. I've never tried that. Roasting up the spices. This is all blended up sort of curry flavor, and there is no, as far as I know, there is no curry uh, specifically curry spice like named curry curry is usually just a mix of different spices that people have put together right chicho you made me want to try uh persimmon but i can't find them where i am oh man the the american north american persimmons you should be able to find the asian persimmons the ones that i showed the bigger ones those ones are uh, harder to find in canada united states they're really good dude we just had our last one like a few days ago and we're all out the big ones you have to eat during season otherwise uh, like you can't get them any other time not in my part anyway there is a curry leaf cool gina how are you doing hope you're doing well hey chicho i'm having a late night uh, sloppy noodle soup while watching you cook nice i hope uh, i hope it's delicious We're gonna cook up some uh, yummy food. It's very, this is like fantastic fall, fall, winter food, like flavorful, strong, uh, soothing. And I got some raisins I'm gonna cook up this time with this as well, by the way. Good. The onions sort of becomes a, uh, it's really white when you put it in and then slowly becomes a little bit darker it's breaking down so that's good I'm gonna keep the temperature at uh, six still and let it keep on going okay. until I get a little bit of blackness for my curry chicken I'm taking curry powder and putting on top of the chicken cooking in the pan wait a bit and add water with a chicken stock cool oh chicken stock would be nice so you make chicken broth. We're going to take the half the onions and cook the chicken in it. And the other half, we're going to mix up with the, with the dates and the raisins. Okay. I live in Belgium. Oh my God. Uh, Bellingham. The Bal Balti Triangle is the place to get authentic Indian dish. Cool. We get good Indian food here as well. I don't go out too much though. Uh, I hope you will do more cooking streams. Your style works so well for this. Yeah, James. I will. I mean, we try to get everything in, right? We try to get everything in. And once you make the sweet dish, uh, it stay you can it lasts for a while in the fridge right the onions are cooking nicely now yeah garlic we're gonna use garlic as well by the way I'm gonna chop up some garlic we're gonna cook the chicken with a little bit of garlic we're not gonna put garlic in the sweet thing though um, it's too overwhelming you could, I guess, but it becomes too much. So I chopped up all those dates. I don't know how much it is. Let's see. Here. Should we measure it? Okay. We'll do a little measurement. You sense a door knock on this stream. <laughs> Fuck up, Chicho's not wearing a mask. Doing a live stream of cooking. You must come to the station here's one cup okay so we know the recipe why not the 
amount. So one cup. Here's two cups. Let's say let's say it's two cups. You got two cups and a little bit. So two cups of chopped up dates. Okay. Two cups of chopped up dates. At the same time. Let's give the onions a little mix, mix, mix. And don't forget, gang, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Right. Nice. Come here. Hot tots, hot tots. Good, good. Let it break down, let it break down. I'm kicking it up to eight. Okay. Now, Leonardo Chicho, since you both are familiar with food and cooking, we do have an amazing curry. What is the best way to keep greens fresh? The best way to keep greens fresh? Here. Give your greens a wash, right? Salt, not too much salt, but I soak them in water, right? And a little bit of salt just to kill off any parasites or whatever might be there give them a rinse and stuff like this give them a spin dry or just let them sit out to dry and then take a sort of a I don't want to put this on there because it's onions just take, take a dish towel right a dedicated dish towel for your greens put your greens in there wrap up the greens wrap up the greens in the dish towel and put it in a plastic bag put it in the fridge it'll stay fresh for the only one that goes uh, doesn't stay that it dill goes bad the fastest and dill about four days you're good all right four or five days parsley and stuff two weeks it'll be good 10 days or so okay That's one way I do it, or we do it. <laughs> Gabos, does this work with ganja as well? Here's uh, dates, uh, not dates, raisins I'm gonna use. They're like green, green raisins. They're really good. Okay. So I'm gonna put in, here, I'm gonna show you. This is how much dates we have, right? Two cups. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one cup, okay, one cup, one cup in there, one and a half cups. Actually, one and a half cups, that's it. So I'm putting a one and a half cups of raisins in there as well, okay? So that's ready to be mixed in with the onions when we're ready to do so. So we'll put this on the side. <laughs> Let's just put it here. So we've got that going. Let's give the onions a mix. You gotta mix up the onions a lot. They, uh, they could be sultan raisins, uh, but so, isn't sultan raisins usually black? The large sultan raisins? Yes, we're getting a little bit of brown here, which is what we want. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, Winnipeg, Winnipeg, Manitoba here, dead center of the country, dead center of the country, interesting place, Winnipeg. What we're going to do is cut up some potatoes and we're going to put a layer under the casserole dish, right? So I'm going to cut up some potatoes. I've already washed the potatoes and we've got some mushrooms going and stuff like this, right? So we're just going to cut up some potatoes. And you could use any type of potatoes you want. Right? I'm using like, I don't know what these are called. I forget, right? They're like, I forget. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna cut them up thin, like chips. Because we're gonna layer the bottom of the pan, okay? And we're gonna slowly get that ready. And we need a few of these. This is actually plenty, what I've pulled out. Right. Nice. Okay. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of more oil on this. Okay. The onions is going to contain a lot of the oil. New potatoes? Is that what they're called? These potatoes are all local potatoes, local farms. Try to get as much local as possible. That's what I try to do anyway. Less transportation, fresher, support local economy, decentralizing. Win, 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 win. Uh, no, these aren't the russets. These are like gold. They're not the golden. Uh, it might be golden yellow. Uh, yellow potatoes. The russet is darker uh, color to it. And it, the skin is uh, rougher. Is that enough? That might be enough. I'm going to I'm going to lay these down. Uh, wax potatoes, maybe. Uh, um, I'm going to lay these down under two casserole dishes because I've made enough rice that we'll probably end up using two casserole dishes. Actually, you may be correct. I had assumed... Uh, let's check this out. Here, here's one. There's a layer one. Let's put this guy here. Let's put this here, and let's put this here. Let's mix this up again. Olive oil under it. Okay. You put as much as you want. You don't need to put too much. I mean, this is a fair bit from what I put down. Okay. And you're just gonna layer the bottom of the pan with potatoes. We did this last time. It's called taddy, but this is potato taddy. Last time we did it with bread, right? And with bread, flat bread, it's amazing. All right? And make sure you move the, what do you call it? Potatoes around. So they are, there is oil below them, right? Under them. We made it with flat bread before, but you can do it with potatoes. Right? Makes it hardier. And what I'm going to do is, uh, and the more potatoes, the better, right? You get a nice layer of potatoes. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on top of this, okay? I'm going to kick down the onions a little bit lower now. I'm kicking this down to four. I took it from eight down to four. Eight out of ten down to four out of ten. I'm kicking it. I'm gonna kick it up to kick it up to six. Still want it to be blackened a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt, okay? Like half a. This would be a tablespoon, I guess, in a regular measurement, but about this much. Right? About this much. Let's put this here. I'm just going to sprinkle this on top of the potatoes, right? 
I don't know if I'm even going to be using all of it. I use about half of it. Take a look. Okay. This other half I'm going to throw. Where's my little bowl? I'm just going to throw in a little, little container. We'll use it up on the next casserole dish. This I'm just going to put back in the oven. It's not cooking, I'm just holding it back. Let's bring out this one. Actually, before we bring out this one, let's cook up some more onions. Shake this up. Nice. Nice. And spread it out so it's all distributed, right? On the bottom of the pan. Now I'm going to kick it down to four. Let's cut up a couple of more potatoes as well. Get that ready. Come here. Knife definitely needs sharpening. So let's bring this up. Again, oil, olive oil. You could use grapeseed oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, whatever oil you like. Right? And grab the potato and just move it around so there's oil at the bottom of the whole pan. Right? And I ended up grabbing uh, about four pounds of the chicken thighs. I don't know if we're going to cook all of it. We'll see how much fit into the pan. It's going to be a fair bit. I actually wouldn't mind cooking all of it. That way we have food for a while. I don't mind that. So I'm not sure how many potatoes we cut up. But this is what we got left from all the potatoes we cut up. Okay. This is what we got left. That's it. Okay. Just save this for later. And let's put some salt on here. Right. Just take what we have. Just sprinkle it on. And a little bit of salt left, I'm just going to put it on the, this guy again and use it up later. Let's put this away. Let's mix up our onions. Right? You can feel it when you're doing this, there's a little bit touching the bottom, right? So you want to make sure you're grabbing the whole bottom and giving it a little mix. Nice. We're almost ready to put the chicken in here, by the way. Okay. So I'm going to kick this down to two. Okay. It's good. Chicho, I think you said that you listen to metal. If you what uh, if so what are some bands you enjoy some bands that i enjoy Go gorija uh, slayer uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. sepatura um, iron maiden but iron maiden i listened to a long time ago black sabbath still legit iron maiden still legit 100 percent. system of a down if you consider it metal uh it is full-on metal like polka metal i guess um hmm Dillinger escape plan. Damn. Calculating infinity. Miss machine. Super good, man. Super good. 
There's a lot. There's some amazing metal. Animals as leaders. I haven't gone off on animals as leaders for a while. Uh, scars on Broadway. Okay, this is good. So, I'm kicking it all the way down. We're gonna grab half of this, put it in the container. Let's just put it in this, right? So, let's put this guy here, take half of this. Sepaturo for Brazil is amazing. Okay, we're gonna save up this much. Take a look. This much for the dates and the raisins, right? So let's put this on the side as well. I'm gonna bring out the chicken game. Let's turn this off for a second. This is, this is about four pounds of boneless, uh, skinless chicken thighs, right? So, and this cooks up fairly rapidly. Let me show it to you. Take a look. Here's the chicken thighs, right? So all I'm going to do is just going to throw this in here. Oh, we're supposed to do the lemon first. Hold on. Ah, oh, I can do it. I can squeeze the lemon in there and cut up the garlic. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to transfer this over and I'm going to move the pan so the chicken doesn't cook too much because I do need to put the onions or garlic and what do you call it? Lemon in here, okay? And the curry powder. So I don't want to cook up the chicken too much yet. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's put that there. Here, let's get rid of the chicken, chicken container. Turn this off, so that's okay. I'm just gonna put the lid on it, let it sit there. This is chickeny, so all I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna leave it like this for now. We're gonna cut up the what do you call it? The the garlic. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon, lemon juice. Okay. Let's put it that's good. There. Mama gonna be pissed. <laughs> awesome. Let's do the lemon juice, right? Let's cut up the lemons. You want it to be tangy, this one. We'll see how much juice we get out of this. Okay, oh, it's good juicy. Now you gotta make sure you don't get any seeds in there, okay? I can hear your mother telling you, Chicho. <laughs> so this is two medium sized lemons. Okay. Which is not bad, it's plenty. Okay. I'm not going to pour this in yet. And I'm going to take out the seeds for it. We're going to cut up the garlic. Thank you for the follows, by the way, gang. Apologies if I'm not on the ball with it. So let's do three. 
Four. Four cloves of garlic. Okay. And this is garlic we got it from our CSA. It's good garlic. Like hearty. Very nice garlic. Let's chop this up, see how much garlic we get out of this. It's okay to have some of it chunky, some of it smaller for this. transfer this into the into the pan chisha i can respect that i'm uh, glad you actually named metal bands haha <laughs> yeah indeed brother indeed indeed what are you listening to i'm gonna chop up one more Okay, we're going to do one more. I would say system is very close to metal in my opinion. I think they are heavy rock, but close enough, but close enough. I think so too. Some people, they consider system to be like <gasps> crazy heavy metal. If you've listened to metal, you know what heavy can be, right? Like Dillin Dillinger Escape Plan, I would consider, it's considered to be math core, but I would consider that to be as heavy as, as you can get. Uh, and there's, of course, the Norwegian death metal and stuff, <laughs> which is awesome, <laughs> right? I've seen Sepatura live. I've seen Gorgia live, French metal. I've seen uh, I've seen a lot of metal, a fair bit of metal. I've seen Dillinger Escape Plan uh, like three times. I've seen System of a Down a couple of times. Okay, now for the curry powder, let's see how much we're gonna throw in. Now we're ready to kick up the chicken, temperature on the chicken. So I'm gonna kick this up to two. Actually, I'm gonna kick it up to four, okay? And for the curry powder, how? Um, I usually just go by sight. I brought my measuring cups here, right? I don't know, what is this one? This is, this is, I can't even read this. Oh, this is a quarter of a cup. Is this a quarter of a cup? Let me put on my glasses. Oh, one eighth of a cup. This says one eighth of a cup. And we're not even gonna use this much, maybe. We're using one sixteenth of a cup, let's say, okay. Hmm. 
Mm, I'm going to add a little bit more. So let's say you use about one eighth of a cup. Okay. Now we need, we need, we need. Where is my thing of education? We need to get rid of the seeds in the lemon juice, right? So I'm just going to pour it through a sieve, right? And when you're doing this, you need you need a little spoon just to right? You can throw the pulp in there as well and I might You can hear the chicken cooking away right now, right? Luckily, this doesn't have too much seeds. So this is great. So I'm gonna move the pulp. I'm gonna throw the pulp in there as well. Okay. So that was two lemon lemons worth, right? Oh, did you guys lose the stream? Did we lose the stream? I hope not. I see it's still going. So I'm hoping we're still going. Did we lose the stream? No, just Alder. Okay. Crack. I used lime juice for my beef dishes. Okay. Thank you very much, Cheryl. I'm gonna get rid of the seeds here. And I'm gonna use the pulp as well. Okay. We might add more lemon later, but we're gonna cook it up a little bit. So this is what, about a third of a cup of lemon juice, right? Is it about a third of a cup? Let's use a real cup here. We'll transfer this guy. Transfer that guy here. Let's do a legit measurement. Uh, about half a cup. It's about half a cup of lemon juice. I don't know if you can see it. About half a cup of lemon juice. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go like this. Pour it on top. Okay. And the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add salt, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this baby up. Let it curkle, okay? This guy needs a plate because it's chickeny raw chicken and we're gonna put it over here okay so we don't mess with it the raw chicken doesn't touch anything else right as far as salt goes let's see how much salt we're gonna put in this let's see how much salt we're gonna put in this here's a big teaspoon there's a big teaspoon okay it's like half a tablespoon so i'm gonna put in This much for now. Might add a little bit more and another half. Okay, actually, not much more, a little bit less, a little bit less. Okay. Now the other chicken I have out here, right? This chicken, I'm just gonna put back in the fridge. So we have, from the four pounds of chicken, we have this much left. Later on, I'll marinate this with garlic and lemon and we'll cook it up later. It'll, it'll stay long. I could marinate it now, usually I would, but we're busy doing other things, right? Salute gang, I hope you're enjoying your day. So we got some portobello mushrooms we're going to cut up as well. So I'm going to cut up some portobello mushrooms. Okay. Because some of the chicken I'm going to cook up with the portobello mushrooms. It just tastes good.
once we transfer some of the chicken under the what do you call it for the bottom of the casserole dishes right i might even just bring out the chicken that's left and once we empty some of this out we'll cook that up for this into here. So that was two medium-sized portobello mushrooms. And again, don't forget, free assange, free assange, free assange. Chicken will taste, uh, chicken will taste like chicken, even if you <laughs> nuke them. I'm gonna do one more portobello mushroom, okay? Let's cut out one more. And I usually get rid of the bottom of the stem thing. Good enough. This is how much mushrooms we're going to be using. Again, I'm not cooking for one dish. I'm cooking for eating multiple days, right? Just optimizing the time. So three portobello mushrooms. I'm going to give these guys a rinse and get rid of some of the compost here that we have. Okay, transfer the stuff over to a little bucket. Get rid of it. And we're going to give the cutting board a little wash. My apologies if I'm not catching all the chat, by the way. Chicho, can we get a free Julian? Free Julian Assange, of course. It's like we got an auto mod coming up. Free Julian, gang. Don't forget. Free Julian Assange. And if... The dude in office right now that it is going to be out of office in the United States, if he had any cojones, he'd pardon Julian Assange, Chelsea Manning, Edward Snowden right now. If. But we keep politics on politics streams. No, he, she, she's out, but I don't think officially been pardoned yet, from what I understand. Okay. Now, I had this many potatoes left. I'm just going to put them in our potato container here. We got a little box on the ground here that's, we put a rag on top. It contains our onions and our potatoes, and it just keeps fine. Right. It keeps for a long time. Let's put this guy. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to take a look at the chicken. Nice. Give it a little bit of mix. Right? Nice smell to this right now. Now, you want this to be juicy, right? I don't want to dry out. I want it there to be liquid in there, right? I might add a I pushed it down too far. <laughs> don't push it down too far, Chicho. I filled it up to the top, right? So I'm gonna add I can't cancel the Christmas list today. Most annoying. Oh no! Power can't pardon someone who questions them, or they lose credibility. Maybe, maybe. That's that's why I said if they have the cojones, right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of. I might add a little bit of balsamic vinegar in here. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic, just a touch, just a touch, not too much. 
good enough. Okay. And I'm not gonna push this baby down. <laughs> Set of fire in our free. <laughs> I know the sound of it, eh? Ooh. And one thing you can do is if you want to make the cleanup easy, just take a white wet rag and just run it through where it's spilled, right? That way it doesn't cake on. Just make sure you don't burn yourself. I'm just using a napkin right now because that way I can just get rid of it, right? And give your hands a wash. Okay, gang, we're done with the cutting. We're done with the cutting. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start using this element as well. So I'm gonna take, I'm pretty sure we're done with the cutting. Let me make sure we're done with the cutting. We're done with the cutting. Okay. We do want to bring the casserole, casserole dishes out and layer everything, but once we do that, I'll just put it on a pan, that way we see it. So I'm going to transfer these guys over, give them a little rinse. Yeah, we got a lot of plants, man. A lot of plants. Just the way we like it. Just the way we like it. Let's put this guy here. Let's get this in the wash. And we're gonna get the rice cooking here. Okay. Let me give this guy a little wash too. Let's just leave that in there like that for now. And pot of water. I already got water in this. Okay. Oops. Sorry about the noise. So I already got some water in this. I'm gonna kick this up to high. Boil. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more water as well. Because we've got a fair bit of rice cooking in there. Good. Get our water filter going. Where is our... Oh, this guy we don't need. We need the chickeny one. Let's see what we got. up the uh, garlic a little bit okay good 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 I filled it up so much had to mix up the, the onions in there a little bit but we didn't partition the onions well so I'm gonna add a little bit of onions on top of this because I know in this over on this side, there wasn't as much onions as I like. So, let's put this here. Let's put this guy here. Oh, look at this guy. This is good enough. Just gonna add a little bit of onions here. Just one spoonful on the side. I'm gonna mix it up and then we'll put the spoon 
and the dishwasher because it's touch chicken. Right. Good. Good. Get all the onion. Good stuff. Okay. Give this a little rinse. What's there? We can put our onions here. Good, 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 good. Let's wear this. We're gonna start getting a little messy. Right. Possibly. Possibly. We already got a little messy actually. Let's do this, this. Salute again. I hope you're having a nice chill day. Let me show you the rice. two and a half cups of rice okay and I've already uh, rinsed it a few times so rinse it put the rice in there rinse it with water pour out the murky water do it again do it again do it again do it again right so as soon as as soon as the water boils we're gonna put the rice in here and cook it up okay. the other day Cheryl says I prep plants to come inside but put them in the garage to dry a bit uh, flash forward to a few minutes ago and a panic as I was listening <laughs> as I was listening and watching the snowstorm nothing like a few mad dashes with house plants in negative three degrees Celsius now my sun porch looks like the roof of your kitchen oh, it looks like this <laughs> Happy winter, and this is what happened with us to a certain degree. We brought this; it, it got dropped a little bit, hit frost. Remember, if, I think it was a month and a half ago. You said the first frost hit. I was like, "Oh, wait a second. So I think a week later, I went through and brought some of the plants in just to make sure, right? And it did get cold; it did drop. So I wanted to make sure they didn't die out, right? But we know the feeling. We know the feeling. <laughs> Especially when it's like you're doing it all speedy goes out. It's at nighttime in the dark. It's like, oh my god. Ritzak, cheers, cheers. Smells good smells good you can tell a lot of how food's gonna taste based on the smell Tyson Terry Chicho I don't listen to a lot of mainstream stuff but Tesser Tessera cat is one of my favorites that I listen to uh, I also like era and I build uh, and I built the sky mostly progressive metal for me really link up link it up in our uh, discord page brother okay this is bubbling good enough to add the Add the rice in there. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the water, and I'm gonna put the rice in there. Oh, not enough to do a little swish. So, put a little water, do a little swish, and just water grabs the rice really well. Right. And then what you can do is just use your fingers. Get all the rice in there. And eat. Now because this is like a turbo stove top, I'm gonna kick it down a notch. And we're not gonna cook this all the way. We're gonna cook it al dante, basically. But I am gonna put the lid on it for now. <coughs> and I'm gonna kick the temperature down to around seven out of nine. Chicho, I will try to remember your you stream while I'm at work. So sometimes, yeah, brother, for me too. People mention stuff and I forget, right? As you go gang it's so much easier Ooh. okay i 
filled this guy up so high. Right. I'm still going to leave it there, but I'm going to kick it down a notch. I'm kicking it down to around three, the chicken, okay? Because I know it's going to spill a little bit. It's almost at the top, right? I could have probably not put in as much chicken. Maybe two less chunks of chicken would have been enough, right? So what are we going to do? Got the chicken going, got the rice going. Now we've got to wait until one of these is done, okay? Because we got to do other things, right? Now we can't turn on. Ah, I could give this a rinse. We can give the... We could give the ball berries a rinse. And what I can do, actually, I should do this. We're going to use saffron as well, gang. Okay. And gang, don't forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Right? Free Assange. Now, I got a little bit of saffron. Okay. Because we're going to we're gonna use saffron as well. Saffron and the chicken. I'm going to put this on the side a little bit. So the saffron, I'm going to pour in here like a spoonful, okay? I should be in following my instruction. Saffron. No, actually, saffron, we're not going to put a chicken. We're going to put in with the zedesh, with the uh, ball berries, okay? Yeah, saffron, we're going to put in with the ball berries. We're not going to put in with the chicken. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take. Let me show you how much. I'll do it here. Might as well get this ready. Okay. I'm using about this much saffron. Take a look. This would probably be about a spoonful. Right. Take a look. This much saffron. Now I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to put hot water on it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's bring the tea over. Let's put the tea over here. I'm going to put a little bit of hot water on there and let it open up. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay. Let's put the tea back. Some people take the saffron and they blend it up, grind it up. So we got this, and I'm gonna do this so the color comes out. Okay. I'm gonna let it sit. Process. See you guys, I'm sure, ladies. I'm going to sleep. Have a nice day. You too. I hope you have amazing dreams, process. The best part is when you bite into the eggs. The baby spiders. <laughs> what? What am I missing here? Okay. So we're just gonna let that sit and let the color give out. Okay. Now let's see how the rice is doing. Good. I'm gonna give the rice a mix. Now with the rice, when it reaches this level, you gotta be careful because it can boil up. Okay. So I'm gonna leave the lid sideways a little bit, a little bit open. And we're gonna take a look at the chicken. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now that the chicken's basically cooked, I'm gonna retire this guy and I'm gonna retire this guy. Okay.
and we retired them basically because they touched raw chicken we're playing with them with raw chicken right uh, this dish uh, in Persian they call it the uh, hope for evil uh, they call it zirish polo the rice part of it with the ball bar berries right the chicken part is just chicken curry okay that's that's all it is uh, sort of my style Armenian. I don't know if it's Armenian it's, this is like an Armenian Iranian recipe um, but I've modified it according to me yeah Zidish Zidish I don't know how you spell it but it's it's called bar berries b-a-r berries I didn't know that until I started looking looking it up well this guy's splitting over the pressure builds up so it starts going So let's give this a little spin, the rice. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I want to give the barberries. I'll show you the barberries actually. Here. This is the barberries. This is what they look like. They're very tangy, very tangy. Okay, and I'm going to use a fair bit of these. Okay. They're really small. Crazy vitamin C to them. It's almost like cranberries, but not really. Mm. So, so tart. Eduardo, how are you doing? Nice. This guy's gonna get hot, so. Been listening to the big pun. Super cool. Yeah, big pun. Super cool. I'm glad you like, brother. Big pun's fantastic. <laughs> These babies growing apart? I don't know. I don't think so, though. I think they're like major bush. I want to dump some of the water from this. Okay. Because we don't want it to cook too much. Nice. And I'm going to bring a spoon or a little fork and see if the rice is done and I think it is uh, maybe not maybe not elder god this is zirish polo a distinguished Persian dish the popular zirish polo features many of the elements of the Persian cooking indeed mm, good it's gotta be a la dante I'm gonna take my little sieve thing, right? It's got holes in it. And I'm gonna dump the rice in here and then run water on top of it, cold water. And we're gonna turn this baby off for now anyway. We're gonna come back to it. I do when I'm cooking rice I just pour a little bit of water I put the pot on the stove again and the stuff at the bottom it uh, it doesn't stick right it releases it and I did was just run cold water on top of the rice okay and I'm gonna give it a little shake I posted some bands to check out in discord awesome Tyson thank you
drain the water. No. We're gonna check the chicken. It should be cooked. Okay. But we're gonna check it out. If it is, we're going to take this off the stove and put it on the side. Take a look. It's got the curve look to it, right? The color. Very good. I like it. What could it use? Could it use something else? Mm, could have used a little bit more garlic. So I would have put a, because I filled it up really high with, the, with chicken, I could, I would have put a couple more cloves of garlic in there. But what I'm doing now, turning the chicken off. Okay. Salute gang. Our first phase is done. Now. Let's get rid of this guy because we don't need this guy. All I'm doing is just putting the rice in the sieve in the pot. I'm just going to put it on the side. Okay. bring our raisin over let's put this guy over here under it just in case cool. now uh, let's bring this guy here nice now our, ch our chicken is just gonna sit here okay it's still kirkling I want to leave the lid off a little bit let it kirkle away do you use already minced garlic? No, no, no. I chopped it up the ground for sure. I do. My hands are unwielding and I find a chore to mince my own garlic. Yeah, no, I use fresh garlic. Uh, I don't. We do have some uh, garlic that, you know, we either got as gifts or we bought as a whim and stuff like this. But it's it's mainly fresh garlic that we're using, right? Mainly fresh garlic. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to prep the barberries. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the barberries a rinse. So I'm going to pour how much of this we're going to pour. I go by eyesight, but we're going to, we're going to measure this. Where's my other measuring cup, 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 cup. Oh, there it is. So let me tell you how much we're going to do. Okay. And let's put this guy here. So let's see. Here's one cup, okay? So there's one cup. We're gonna use more than one cup. This thing only takes about a cup. So I'm taking like a sieve thing like this, right? And I'm gonna run cold water on top of it and give it a rinse, right? And I'm gonna put this baby, let's put it in here. We're just gonna put it in here for now, okay? Uh, and that way we get a feel for what it looks like. So here's one cup. Here's one cup. I'm gonna probably use three cups. Let's do another one. Oh, I didn't measure it. So one of those was about one cup <laughs> was about this much. So I'm just gonna go with this. I'm not gonna measure it in the cup. I just go by eyesight. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange.
So here it is with two cups. Okay. I'm gonna make three. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna make three. And these barberries, they come in packages. I'll show you the package. So we use basically one liter of barberries. Okay. So here's three cups of barberries, right? Okay. And I'll show you the package for the barberries, gang, so you know what it looks like. They come in these packages, right? They come in like these packages like this. I'm not gonna show you the label because I don't wanna promote specific company or anything like this. But they come in packages, and this was one liter, basically. Okay, sun-dried barberries. I don't know where this is from, but they're really good. Okay, I'll show it to you, what the hell. Here, it's a red label. I won't show you the name, but it's a red label. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll give my hands a little wash. Just touch some packaging so now this thing's done kirkling so i'm just gonna put the lid on it let it simmer right i think they will pretty ex uh, they're not expensive no 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 elder god they're uh, they're pretty cheap where i am anyway they're really they're very reasonably priced very reasonably priced okay let me close off our saffron so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cook up the barberries very gentle okay with a little bit of water let me make sure uh ran saffron open with warm water short cook saffron ginger no sugar ba, ba, ba. yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this up okay i'm going to put it on four and remember this is a hot stove top right i'm going to put a little bit of oil very little very little you don't even need any oil right we need a lid Where's our other lid? There it is. Here's our other lid. This is the other portobello mushroom I have, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge where we keep some of the veggies in a plate. Right. I'm gonna close this up. Okay, let it heat up a little bit. I'm gonna pour the barberries in there, and we're gonna use tablespoon, two tablespoons of sugar organic cane sugar okay maybe tablespoon and a half saffron is very oh saffron oh saffron is very expensive sorry yeah 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 the barberries is not barberries is not saffron expensive saffron expensive sorry elder god expensive i get it from my persian yeah yeah i mean take a look this is this is how much saffron i keep in our spice rack right like and i have barberries here i'll show you how much barberries i got uh, well, I have five of those packages of barberries on my rack, right? So the barberries are crazy cheap. Saffron, expensive. Expensive. Like this much. This isn't the container for saffron. It comes with little packages that are like rolled up, like in plastic. Elder God will know, right? Uh, so saffron is expensive, yeah. Good saffron, anyway. Good saffron is expensive. Just like any any amazing good spice, you pay a little bit for it, right? About fifteen pounds for that. Yeah, I, I forget how much it is here because we put it in a container, right? My mom is the supplier of saffron for me. She knows the good type. Pound for pound, as expensive as gold, is it? Okay. There was a little water here, so it was sizzling so i'm gonna pour okay, let's put this guy here make sure we don't go too noisy i'm gonna pour these in there and this is a fair bit okay that i'm cooking up here
Wait a minute. We're going to put two tablespoons of sugar in this. Okay. It's very tart, so you need a little bit of sugar. I'll put a, yeah, about two tablespoons. Okay. I'm going to mix up the saffron. Okay. I'm going to pour this in here. And then you're going to close the lid. Speedy Gonzalez. You want it steam cooked. Right. I'm going to give this a little rinse and a dry because we're going to put the stuff back in here to keep it. So when we start layering the casserole, you'll see what we end up doing. this guy okay that's good so I need to mix this a little bit when you lift it up do it quick mix it I could have probably put a little bit more saffron in this, but this is good. <coughs> nice. This one you gotta keep an eye on. You don't wanna walk away from this, okay? I have a grocer specialized in spices. It's called Terra's Exo Exotic exotic lands terra exotic and i love this shop it has everything you need as many herbs spices homemade mix to do some wonderful meals nice finding an amazing store that has spices and supplies exotic that you can access man lucky we have a couple around us but i had a lot more in vancouver when i was living there And after this, we're ready. So we're gonna actually, while this guy is steaming up, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna turn on the oven. Let's do this. So we're gonna turn on the oven to 420. Cook it up at 420. Okay. Let's cook this up. Okay, I'm turning this guy off. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring up my little spoon. Let's bring a fresh spoon. I'm gonna taste it, make sure it's got enough sweetness to it. Let's check it out. Don't put this in your mouth right away, it's gonna burn you. Because inside the barberries have uh, liquid in them, right? So the inside is heated up. good spices not three dollar for a whole pound of unique spice yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. very nice that's the flavor we want so we're going to transfer this into our container into our bowl take it off so we're not overcooking it Nice. 
now. Here, I'll bring it over here so you see what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing and throwing in here. Right. Now what we're going to do is, just in this, I'm going to add some oil. Okay, it's okay if there's a little bit of barberries left in here. And we're going to cook up the dates and the raisins and the onions, right? So, let's put that right back. Let's put a little bit of oil in there. Let's throw our, we don't need this measuring cup no more. We're gonna throw our raisins and dates in there, right? I forget how much of each we had, but in they go. Just spread the oil around. And on top of that, we're gonna throw the onions, the caramelized onions. Where's our onions? Where did we put our onion? Oh, there they are. Let's... There's our potatoes. There's our onions. Let's put our onions in there. So here's our onions, right? So we're gonna throw that in there too. Make sure you get it all, because onions are super good. And look, if you notice, there aren't too many, too much in this. It's the order that you make everything, right? So it's not too complicated. But there's sort of a rhythm to it. Fan, how are you doing, Chicho? You are using things that I didn't know existed. Barberries, for example. Yeah, for in Iran, like Zeresh is a staple diet. Now I'm cooking, kicking this up to, let's say three. Three out of 10, and just mixing it up. Then we're just gonna leave it by itself. And a lot of people forget that you can cook with dates, right? And we're told about Tara. So, put the lid on it. Let it cook up a little bit, right? What we can do now is start layering our food. Okay. We do need the chicken. This guy we need to cook up. So, what am I going to do? Because we can do the work here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this off. Okay. I'm gonna bring this guy over here and turn it on here. I'm gonna move the chicken over there. Okay, it's gonna go out of your line of sight. That way we can start layering the casserole dish. Okay. One and a half cups for raisins. Okay, cool. I think it was two cups of dates. I think it was two cups of dates. So I'm gonna move the chicken, but I'm gonna sort of, it's pretty heavy. So we're gonna move the chicken over. Okay. You're gonna see what I'm about to do. We're gonna put the lid on this. And I'm gonna turn this guy to, same thing. I'm gonna turn this guy to three. That's better because this this stove top uh, cooks, uh, is a lower heat than this one. And now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna bring another cast iron here. That way we can put our, uh, what do you call it? Our casserole dishes on here and do our work, okay? What I'm gonna do is move the chicken. Here, I'll show you what the chicken looks like, actually. We do still need the lid, so I need to make a little space. I'm gonna make a little bit of space for the lid. Because we're gonna add, we're gonna take some of the chicken, layer it on top of the, on the bottom of the casserole dish, and then add the mushrooms to the rest of the chicken and cook it all up together. 
right? So we're gonna have a mushroom chicken curry dish and the chicken is gonna be on the bottom of the casserole dish as well. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? So what are we doing? We need to make space for the lid. So let's make space for the lid. Let's clean up a little bit over here. So we don't drip drip everywhere. Okay. Here, let me show you what this guy looks like. I need another grabber here. Here's our chicken. So you see what the chicken looks like, right? After all this. Take a look. Nice. So it's got juices. The chicken, there's a little bit of blackening there with the with the with the onions and it's darker and it's cooked up nicely. Right, the flavor is there and the chicken's cooked nice. So I'm gonna move this guy over. We're gonna bring the casserole dishes. And at the same time, we're gonna make sure we're mixing this guy. So we're gonna mix this baby up. Yeah, this is good. Because the dates burn super fast, so do the raisins. Now you can make this, cook it up a lot, make it really pasty or cook it little. Last couple of times, we, or last one time I think we made this. We made this with another dish. We cooked it up a lot and it made, became pasty. This time we can just, we can decide not to cook it that much, right? So let's bring the casserole dish over. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna layer chicken on the bottom of this, okay? So this is, this is the layering that we're gonna use. We're gonna go, we're gonna go oil, potatoes, salt. We already did the salt. We're gonna go chicken, rice, zerish, the barberries, and then rice on top of that. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab a fork and a knife. And you want a sharper knife because you're gonna cut up some of the chicken, right? So we're gonna bring the chicken here. You don't really need to cut it up, but I'm gonna break it down a little bit, okay? Just a little, layer the bottom. I could maybe break it up in another plate, but I'm just doing it off the cuff right now, just like this, okay? And we've got two casserole dishes. One of them we're gonna do with chicken, one of them we're not. One of them is just gonna be rice. I'm not gonna put any chicken in the bottom. Okay. And don't forget about your date and raisin dish, right? So when you're doing this, don't forget about this guy. Give this guy a little sh mix. You don't want it to burn. And it reaches a certain point where you can smell it cooking. Right. You can get a nice feel for it. Probably gonna cook this for another, I'm gonna put a little timer on it. Cook it for another four minutes. That's about it, okay? This looks fantastic, really. Looks super delicious. Right. And the chicken falls apart, breaks apart pretty easy, which is what you want, sort of. You don't want big chunks of chicken at the bottom of the of the of the dish. Some people don't do this, right? We're gonna do it both ways. As long as we have enough rice. And we should have enough rice to make two casserole dishes. I'll show it to you with chicken and without. Mixes with potatoes. And this stuff doesn't become crispy 
like the way we did with the with the flatbread right because it's juicy on top of the potatoes you can make it crispy but it won't not with the chicken on top it'll become crispy without the chicken on top where you're gonna see with the rice on top actually some some crispy because the barberries have a little bit of juice with them too We're going to put a layer of rice on top of this. Now we're going to mix this up. As far as I'm concerned, this is good. That's enough. I'm not sure how long that took, but it didn't take long. Let's say eight minutes of cooking or so. Okay. It's becoming pasty. Fantastic. It's still keeping its integrity so I'm turning this baby off this guy's off if I didn't have all this stuff going I would remove it from the countertop here okay but we'll do that as soon as we're done with this layer okay so what we're gonna do is bring over the rice and put a layer of rice on top of this here's our strainer Right. And we're gonna go like, you know what we might not even have enough to make two casserole dishes enough rice and there's nothing stopping us from making more rice right rice is pretty easy to make and it's pretty quick and I might do that So here's one layer of rice. Right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, the bar berries on top of this. And once we're done this, we put this in there. This is the oven hitting 420. Okay. My ancestors were in Paris. That's another story. So. What are we gonna do? Barberries. Let's do the barberries. Let's move these guys. We don't need these guys. Yeah, that's the heat from there. Here's the barberries. So we're gonna go. Usually it has a little bit more juice in there when I'm putting it on. So I might have cooked it a little bit too much. Probably didn't add enough water to it. Should have added a little bit more water to it. But this is fine. And we could cook up more barberries as well. This is like plenty of barberries, right? Just spread it around. Nice. That's good. And layer of rice. And then it's ready to go into the oven when we put a foil on top of it, right? And we're gonna cook more rice, gang. We're definitely gonna cook more rice because we're out of rice for this.
Thank you for the follows, gang. Thank you for the subs. Apologies for not catching them all, but. Put foil on top of this and throw this in to the oven. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, here it is. All right. You got the potatoes in the bottom. You got the chicken on top, curry chicken on top. You got a layer of rice, a layer of barberries, and a layer of rice on top of that. All right? Fantastic. This <laughs> is super yummy. Super yummy. And I'll show you how much barberries we've got uh, left. Okay, so you know how much barberries went in. And you want it to be tight. And this guy's going in for an hour and 15 minutes. Timer. We're going to put, I'm just going to put 60 minutes for now. Okay. And we'll check it after 60, 60 minutes. Okay. Meanwhile, we're going to cook some more rice. We're going to cook some more. Uh, we're going to throw in the, actually, let's have a taste of this chicken. Let's see what the chicken tastes like. We're going to throw in the mushrooms with this chicken. Take a look. See the juices in this? See this? And we're going to throw the mushrooms in there, and the mushrooms are going to suck in the juices. It's going to be phenomenal. Right? I'm back. Crack, how you doing? And basmati rice. Yes. Uh, Chef 8Z, that's basmati rice. And elegante cooked. So it's going to go in the oven and cook, and it's going to become longer grain, and it's not going to be as sticky. Right? Because I rinsed it with cold water. Looking good, you know. Thanks, Craig. Actually, my current surname is a place in the south of France. Elder God. Is it? Looks great, Chef. Thanks, Chef. Greetings, blessings, Dr. P. Run that tinfoil through a distortion pedal. Solid noise album <laughs> right there. <laughs> I can smell it right here. Crispy rice. Crispy rice. It becomes like a crispy rice. Super good. Super delicious. Super delicious. I'm going to have a little taste of this. Okay. Let's have it in this container. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we cooked up. Right. So take a look. Look at this. This is a lot of nice juices here, right? Smells good. All right, take a look. I'm just gonna have a little taste. Just make sure it doesn't need anything else. This is done. I'm gonna move this guy out. Okay. Actually, before I move it out, I'm gonna give it a little mix shake because I don't want the bottom to burn the lid is hot so I'm gonna use this yeah a little bit of burning but that's fine we could actually take it out of this right now and I will I'm gonna dump it out here we'll put the lid 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 let's put the lid over here cool I'm gonna taste the chicken first let's taste the chicken first see if it needs anything because we're going to add just mushrooms portobello mushrooms in this so if the salt isn't as much 
because we're adding something raw in there, it doesn't have salt, I might add a little bit of more salt, right? And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange game. Would love to cook this for Assange. Mmm. Crazy delicious. Crazy delicious. Doesn't need salt. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very yummy. Very yummy. Very yummy indeed. We're going to transfer this into a container. Let's see, is this enough? This isn't enough, but do I have a bigger bowl? Bigger container? I think all my containers are used up. So we're just going to use this. Nice and tangy as well, the chicken. And what we're going to do is, before I add the mushrooms in there, because that's going to cook very fast, I'm going to put some rice on. Okay. Chicho, looking a little too good in that apron. <laughs> I, this is an apron I made in grade 8 in home economics class. I've had this thing with me for 40 years. So who says high school is useless? You can make aprons that you use when you're like 40 years later. And I failed the home ec class. The teacher didn't want me back the following year. I was starting food fights. She wasn't appreciating my food fights. And I told her I very much fully appreciated her being honest with me. She goes, Chicho, you start food fights. I don't want you back in my class. I go, oh, that's okay. She was a really good teacher. She liked me a lot, actually. But she failed me because I was a bad kid. You shouldn't start food fights in whole mech. That's crazy talk. Make aprons. So this is what we got. This is what the paste looks like. Take a look. This is raisins, onions, caramelized onions, and dates. Take a look. Really good. Super, like it's sweet and it goes really nice with tanginess of the barberries and the sourness, the tartness of the chicken curry, right? We don't need this guy anymore because I want to bring the pot over here, put water in it, boil it, make more rice. We need more rice. Excellent. Both the apron and the food vice. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. <laughs> Like, you gotta have fun in class, right? You gotta have fun. I'm gonna give this a quick little wipe. Okay. Just because we've had spillage on here. I'm going to kick up the temperature even more. So I don't want it to cake on too much. Make the cleanup easier later on. This guy's done. We got a little place where we throw our rags that are done. And we wash them later. Okay. Now, let's bring this over. Get this a little white.
Now, we kick this up, boil away, right? I'm putting it on high, and I'm just gonna let it boil, right? Oops, sorry about the noise. Now that this guy's boiling, done like out of commission. No, we're gonna give it a wash. We're, so any place that the rags are done, we just throw it in there and we give them a nice wash uh, and uh, use them again, right? Not done like dinner, done like, uh, I don't know, what would it be? Done like something else. And we're gonna pour ourselves another drink. I try to tell my wife that clean as you go. When I'm done doing dinner, by the time it's ready to eat, kitchen is almost totally clean. A crack, I'm 100% with you there. Really. It's so sweet. The only thing you have to do after dinner is rinse your dishes. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> right? Cornelian cherry liqueur from like three years ago. And you can eat the cornelian cherries. Right, take a look. Here's the cornelian cherries. Right. Elder God, I'm in the next best shelf. Now I'm in the castle bell now, Elder God. Now, we got this water boiling. We're gonna put the rice in there, but we're gonna give the right, uh, rice a rinse, right? So, let's bring it out here. If you notice, I don't need to touch the chicken right now, right? Let's put it here. I'm just grabbing a bowl that we washed, we have available again, right? And that's exactly what you want. As you clean, uh, as you're cleaning as you go you have other you have things that you're using you can use again just in case you need this is where i keep my rice i got a big bag of rice and this is my working rice container we're going to cook up two more cups We have to give them a rinse first, right? Now I'm cooking it up because we're probably going to share some of the food. And the rice will keep for like four days. And we're going to have our fill of rice. And then after that, we might not eat as much rice, right? Now what we've got to do is rinse this guy. Cold water, give it a rinse, shake it up. I'm going to bring it over. You'll see it gets murky. See how murky it is? You want to rinse it enough. Once you put the water in, do this to it, right? And then pour out the water, and rice is beautiful because once you put the water in, you do this, rice just sinks down. So it's just water on top, and you just pour it out. And then fill it up again. Give it a rinse. Give it a mix. More toilet paper, how you doing, Chicho? Good morning, hope all is well. A new addition to the family has me awake early. So what a better way to start the day than some morning uh, phenomenal. <laughs> I'm loving the recent stream, awesome. <laughs> and congrats on the new addition, nice. Man, you're gonna be sleep deprived for months upon months. Sleep when you can. Cat naps are the best. Right. Again, I do it like three or four times. Thank you, bud. Oh, I know, dude. 
I feel you, I feel you. And I don't know if you can tell right now, it's a little less murky. It's a little less murky. Right? Is is that rice chicho? It is. We can have barneys. It's rice that I'm just washing. Okay. And by the time we're done washing this right now, uh, cleaning it basically, the water is going to be boiled enough, and we're going to put the rice in. It's clear. And that's good enough as far as I'm concerned. Let's see where this guy's at. Yeah, good enough. Let's put this guy here. And we put the rice in. So we're going to let this cook up, right? The casserole dish has been in the oven for about 15 minutes now. Still got another 45 minutes at least to go. Okay. I need some ice in my liqueur. So I'm gonna get some ice. And then we're gonna take care of the mushrooms with the chicken. Chisho, did you know that people washing rice or even meat isn't a matter of hygiene, but more of a matter of the cultural origins of the uh, food product? Is it? I figure that the, the thing with me is I'm not 100% sure how rice is dried right so my take is there must be some dust and stuff on the rice so you give it a wash that way uh, you get rid of the dust that's uh, that's my understanding of it same with the uh, chicken and gang free assange free assange free Assange. Salute. Here's to one of the most important people uh, right now in regards to politics and economics that is being crucified, but no politics, right? Needs to be freed. Period. So we got the water boiling. I'm going to. And on top of the rice, when you're making this, you get that little white, foamy stuff occurring. As soon as that happens, I put a little ledge on the, on the rice, on the rim, so it doesn't blow over, right? 
free Julian Assange. What we're going to do now is we're going to add the mushrooms on here. I'm going to kick this up, uh, the chicken here. I'm going to put it on three. And then we're going to add the mushrooms. And we're going to put the lid on it and let it cook for a little bit of time. Okay. So the mushrooms get the flavor in there. And we're going to give it a mix every now and then. Okay. So basically what it does, it increases the qual quantity of the food we have. Right. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. I love it. <laughs> right. Salute, gang. Salute. So what it does when you're doing a cook, right? Because meat can be expensive. But once you make the sauce with the meat, with the spices and stuff like this, and it's, it has the juice in it, right? What you can do is add mushrooms to it. And mushrooms is good protein and it sucks in the flavor and it increases the quantity of the food. So when you're eating it, you're not just eating meat, you're eating mushrooms as well with the same flavor, right? It's good, it's good. It's a budget way to do things. We got you, brother, indeed. I'm just gonna do a little bit of maintenance here. Put stuff in the uh, dishwasher and we need to keep an eye. Oh, look at this, see what's foaming up, okay. I'm not going to walk away from the rice now. <laughs> Let's stay on top of the rice. Let's stay on top of the rice. Let's lift this up. We don't want it to foam over. There, we're going to give this a rinse. Let's put this here. Let's do this. And again, we're going to cook this al dente, right? Give... I'm gonna kick this down to about four. Okay. Wait, Chicho, fungi, fungi, fungi. Different fungi. We can have Barney's. Um, in many Western countries, the production and distribution of rice is already pretty clean given the regulation and protocols that have to be met with distributing the rice. Uh, it depends. I get my I get my ingredients. Um, a lot of it from specialty stores right and they get it direct from the country that it comes from like the basmati rice is coming from india i believe where i'm getting it or iran uh, but most of the basmati rice i think believe comes from uh, india like the barberries i believe they're coming from iran right so i give everything a rinse even dates when i eat dates in general i'm giving them a rinse before i eat them right it's not a bad idea not a bad idea and there's chemicals on there as well in the western countries so just because they're uh they're clean in one aspect they might have more pesticides and whatnot in other aspects right so you know it is what it is but yeah tradition <laughs> gang salute to tradition of making specialty foods uh, may your ancestors be proud of what you're making. Okay. Alleged goon. So basmati rice is uh, generally Indian or Californian. Californian I didn't know about. But Indian mainly. Salute. Salute gang. Salute. Let's take a look at the chicken. We're going to have to give it a little spin. Okay. Elder God, in cooking, Al Dante describes pasta or rice that is cooked to be firm to the bite. The et etymology is Italian to the tooth. To the tooth. Oh, okay. In contemporary Italian cooking, the term identifies the I ideal consistency for pasta and improves a br brief cooking time. Motto al dente is a culinary term for slightly uncooked pasta. Cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna give this guy a rinse because we don't need this guy anymore. Get this out of the way. And we're gonna give our chicken with the mushrooms a little mix. Now I'm gonna mix it up with this. Last uh, mushroom. Hold on, I don't do it like up higher. So I'm heating it up slowly. Just sink the mushrooms into the sauce. Okay. 
And mushrooms themselves give out water as well. Okay, so that's good. Oh, I can hear the rice rising. I can hear the rice rising. Is it rising? No, it's good. Cool. And I've kicked this up to about four and a half. Okay. Oh, there's nothing wrong with washing your rice, but it's quite interesting when you see the statistics and reasons for why wash don't wash their rice or meat. Cool, cool, cool. I can't really explain this well because I'm sort of um, paragraphing from the original source. Okay, awesome. Adam Rugusia, a home cook. Oh, this is rising? Oh, a little bit. Explaining this phenomenon perfectly with the research. Cool. We can have artists link it up on our Discord page. Link it up on our Discord page. I want to check the rice game. No, not yet. You can feel if it's cooked just by when you when you go in and mix the rice, the hardness of the rice hitting the either this or the spoon or whatever you're using. Right. Cooking should be a learning experience. Sorry, I keep meaning to post more <laughs> information. Well, wow, we're doing pretty good, I think. We're doing pretty good out there, God. I don't know. Pretty fun time with it, too. I guess basmati can be from a lot of places. Seems Indian Middle East is the main one. You're right. Well, not royalty. I don't like royalty too much. We're gonna, we're gonna be eating like well, well, with farmers that have managed their crops well and have a amazing harvest, amazing food that they've grown for at least three or four days. Cool. Let that curdle, and I'm gonna kick this down now. That's reached the temperature where it's curdling, so I'm gonna kick it down to about two. Okay. giving uh, the dye a little white, it got a little dirty. Let's check out the rice. Oh, getting there. I just bring out a little bit, let it cool down. Eating like peasants. Peasants, when they have access to food, they eat well, man, healthy. A lot of the health problems in our society is because people eat crap because they have excess money, right? They've been eating really like <laughs> like either fast food or very buttery food or lots of meat and stuff like that. It's, and with lots of carbs in it. Lots of meat and carbs, bad idea. Perfect. We're going to rinse this guy again. So I'm going to take the rice, I'm going to dump it out into the strainer again. Okay. And then we're going to run cold water on it, get rid of the starch on it. Okay, in front of us, produce rice. Oh, this guy. As before, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in the uh, pot and just let it sit here with the on the element that's turned off. Okay. Just makes the cleanup easier. And this guy is done. 
So what I'm going to do is turn this guy off as well. Okay. Let's turn this off as well. We'll put this over here. And what we're going to do... Uh, oh, yeah, I've got to rinse this guy. So all I did was just rinse the rice a little bit more, uh, just with cold water, get rid of the starch, and make sure they're, they'll separate when they're cooked. Posted in under food, Chicho. Have a look. Uh, look at it when you... Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. We're going to burn this. This looks really good. Aged good. Maybe not royalty, but will certainly be eating well. Yeah, I'd rather eat this than anything royalty are eating. They eat babies, don't they? Where is where is that Epstein X guy? Come on, Michael. How can you? How can how can a billionaire? <laughs> oh God! I mean, you are poking a hornet's nest here. So, what are we gonna do? We are going to set up our casserole dish. This guy we don't need, so I'm gonna move this guy over. Hot, 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 hot. No, not bad. Good enough. And we can bring this guy over. I'm going to pour a little water on this so it doesn't burn in the bottom, right? If you have space, growing in an in un upland variety like uh, Dorbensch Dorbenskine is... Oh, I lost the thing. Durbanskine oh, is a fascinating and provides a whole new appreciation for the efforts it takes to produce just one cup of rice. Oh, yeah, rice. Very labor ex extensive, no? Or in my case, a few tablespoons. You grew rice, Cheryl. Wow, I've never known anyone that grew rice. Okay, we're just going to put a little water here. Makes the cleanup easy. Okay. Show a little off uh, topic, but I thought you'd like to know how things are progressing here in Australia in regards to the trade war. Oh, the trade war. There seems to be a huge anti Chinese movement where locals are trying to move away from. Yeah, for sure. There's going to be boycotts and stuff happening. We'll see where it all goes, which is great. But there's definitely a bitter. I think in everyone, everywhere around the world should start looking into consuming more local products decentralization that's the name of the game if you're not actively looking to decentralize your life i don't know i don't know i don't know about you if you're not actively doing that i don't know about you i don't know about you take a look gang Here's this. Okay. Now, we already put salt on the bottom of this, right? I'm not gonna put chicken on the bottom of this. We're gonna put rice, okay? And we're not even gonna put any more barberries on top of this. We got a little bit of barberries left. Here, let me show you, right? We got a little bit of barberries left. So all we're gonna do is just leave this as a side plate, as a side dish on the table when you eat. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange, right? As far as the barberries is concerned, we're just gonna put this in a little bowl on the side of the on the on the table when we're eating. So if anybody needs a little bit more tanginess, they can just take a spoonful and mix it in, right? Definitely. Free Assange gang. Free Assange, free Assange. Let's put the rice on top. Where's our rice? There's our rice. Let me put this on. Here and here. So this is just going to be straight out rice dish. Okay. We got a lot of curry made. 
so it's nice to have rice with the curry and we'll share some of this food with uh, uh, with someone else so about three or four of us will have enough food to eat for three or four days which is fantastic and this is going to go into the stove for and because the bottom of this is going to be crispy the potatoes so we'll make sure we time it properly because i doubt if we're going to see the end of this one cooking right the crispiness but we've already done rice dishes like this it's nice just to have plain rice when you're having strong flavored food as well cool. Get all the rice. Here, we're gonna do it this way. And some people like putting uh, oil on top of this, right? I usually don't. Some people like putting butter on top of this. With butter on top of this, <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing, right? And foil on top into the oven it goes. So check this out there's 25 minutes left on the timer right so when the oven buzzes it means the second casserole dish has already been there 25 minutes we're gonna put it in there for 60 minutes so we're gonna add another 35 minutes and turn on the timer that way we know when to take that down okay are you eating right after the stream oh dude I'm eating during the stream I'm gonna sample everything Right, I'm going to show you what the casserole, the first one anyway. The second one probably uh, won't, we won't last that long. I'm just kind of uh, dumbfold right now. How so? What do you mean dumbfold? Or dumbfounded? I have much politics to talk about you. Elder God, everybody. Salute all of you that want to talk politics. Thank you for holding back uh, for a couple of days. Because tomorrow we're going to do meditation tomorrow night. And then Friday night, we go full on politics. Okay. So thank you for holding back and enjoying the stream right now, doing some cooking, doing some food. And we'll let loose on Friday. We'll let loose on Friday. It's going to be interesting next uh, decade. I mean, this looks like a proper, elaborate meal. So I guess you're streaming cooking, but then. You take your time eating off stream. Uh, yeah, for sure. We, I'm gonna be eating. We're gonna be eating this for like three days, four days. Lots of time to eat well. <laughs> now check this out. So I'm gonna take chain. Uh, put some of the barberries in this. And what I'm gonna do is. We don't need this element anymore. 
but we will be putting the castor oil dish on here yeah that's what i mean uh, so you freeze no we're gonna eat all this fresh none of this is going to be frozen uh, this is like i usually don't leftovers i'm okay eating for three days right i don't eat them past the th third day so we're gonna eat today tomorrow and the next day we'll get it done we'll get it done <laughs> right uh freezing stuff we do we have we made lots of hamburgers we still have lots of hamburgers here watch here's some hamburgers we made on the previous live stream right this is four of them and i put uh made five of these things uh so 40 of them i believe we put in the freezer so every now and then one hamburgers we we'll grab some hamburgers from the freezer and make it i'm doing my best chicho the word magic word words keep trying to get out wait what <laughs> i'm so, so so not sorry chat but free assange free assange as far as i'm concerned free assange is not politics it's life you we need like like that's that's that that's not even related to like it's political but it's about humanity it's it's like saying <laughs> it's like nothing else even comes close right so free assange is not bipartisan it's not anything it's it's, it's it should be on everybody's lips all the time as far as i'm concerned right What I'm doing is I'm scraping off uh, this thing, the barberries on, from this. But let's do this. So I'm just going to put the barberries in this container. And anybody that needs a little barber. And the barberries are easy to make extra. Right? So we've got a little bit of barberries here, just on the side. Super delicious. Mm. Humanity as a whole. This is about like I can't even explain. Like for people that don't get it, it's difficult to explain to them. Oh my god, that tastes so good. That tastes so good. Okay, now, let's do this. I'm going to take a couple of minutes and do a little bit of cleanup, wash this guy, and then we can deal with the casserole dish because we've got another 18 minutes for the casserole to come out. It's about controlling on voice. I will not be censoring all the concepts. <laughs> let's take a look at this. Actually, let's have a little taste of this first. We're going to have a little taste of this first. Look at this guy. Let's have a little taste of this guy. Let's have a little taste of this and this. Let's have a little taste of this and this. I might actually leave the lid off and reduce this a little bit because the mushrooms gave out a fair bit of juice. So let's see what we've got. Oh, the chicken looks great too. Take a look. Here's our curry chicken. Oh, well, you won't be able to see it there. See this? There's the mushrooms. There's the chicken. Lots of sauce. Okay.
Oh ja. Mhm. Very yummy. Very yummy. Very tangy. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna reduce this. This is perfect. This is perfect. Mm. Very yummy. Very yummy. Very yummy. I wish I could share it with you guys. Zap it over. I wish I could share it with you guys. One day we do. We have a major celebration and I'll cook for everybody. Okay? <laughs> I wish two chef says. Damn, seems I miss most of the stream. Lonely Piggy, how you doing? Salute. seconds after I pour a plate. Just as a teaser. Love the wise you came up to. Thanks. <laughs> Love being here. Okay. I'll be back in 15 seconds really. She was pretty happy. <laughs> nurse in the house. Nurse in the house. Got to take care of the nurses in the house, man. Got to take care of the nurses in the house. Wait again. Give me a, give me about... Uh, I'm going to... Like five minutes just to do a quick cleanup. Okay? Because we're about 14 minutes away and we're going to make the space available for us to... When we bring out the casserole dish, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay? Chicho, do you have a special diet? Or have you ever had a different diet? Uh, yeah, it's every now and then. Look, human body is unique. We are unique. And we go through different periods in our lives, right? Like, for example, right now, I'm not eating legumes. Not very much, anyway. We made some lentil uh, dish last time and stuff, right? So I used to eat a lot of legumes, okay? A lot of beans. Uh, I ate a little too much. My body said, stop eating so much beans. So it... It rejects it, right? My diet, it, like the best advice I can give you regarding food is listen to your body. Listen to your body. Really? You sure? That pan would be empty in seconds. <laughs> <Empty in> seconds. <laughs> free Assange, gang. Free Assange. Listen to your body, gang. You are your own best doctor within reason. Okay. Listen to your body. Do your research. Stop eating junk food. Really. D reduce the amount of processed food you're eating. Learn how to cook. Grow your own food. Man, once you grow your own food, you eat that food. You understand what is at stake. Okay. Very important. Very important.
That's good. That gives us space. You live on dairy. Dairy is good. I, yogurt. Oof, dude, yogurt is a staple diet. Yogurt is good for the tummy. Yogurt is phenomenal for the tummy. For my tummy, anyway. So, let me get rid of this guy. I'm going to give this guy a quick wipe. Here's the beauty of cast iron pans. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's done! <laughs> right? Speedy Gonzalez style. Clean. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, very good, very good. So, we're about nine minutes out from pulling out our casserole dish. Should we take a look at it first? Let's take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. Uh, I oil it uh, not every time like yeah you you have to what do you call it uh, uh, it's not glazing it's uh, seasoning yeah you have to season the uh, the dish but if you're using it on a constant basis it just seasons itself every now and then it's like okay you need a little bit of oil and I wipe it with a little bit of oil for sure for sure when I move out and find a place that allows ingrown plants, I will grow thyme and basil in front of my sink. Awesome, awesome. And you don't need to grow all your food. Grow some of the herbs. Grow some tomatoes, easy, right? Like tomatoes are so easy to grow. Grow, grow some mint, right? Do you know Adam Rakus? I don't. Hmm. Salute, gang. And here's a couple extra onions. I'm just going to put them in our onion location. Cool. Now, I'm going to take a look at the casserole dish. Has a, has a YouTube chef and also made videos on cast iron pans. No, I don't know. It's good. Are they good? Cucumbers, grow cucumbers, so easy. So, man, when you pick cucumbers that you've grown and just eat them fresh, it's like, wow, grapes, grow grapes. Grapes go crazy. Make grape sauce. Uh, use grapes in your cooking, the raw grapes that we've used. Let's put this guy, guy here. Let's check it out. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking very good. Very good. Okay, let's put it back in for another seven minutes. Okay. Nice. 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 So, here are the side dishes we've made so far, right? Yeah, definitely. Great recipes of all sorts. Great recipes of all sorts. Cool. I'm vegetarian myself, but most dairy products taste nasty. Oh, really? Even yogurt. We got a Barney's Chicho. Uh, funny how I was quoting him earlier. Oh, this is the guy you were quoting on rice and meat. And now you mention his cast iron pan videos. Ha ha. Awesome. Chicho fans know what's good. Awesome. That's good. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. And to you guys as well, right? I just discovered pea milk. Pea milk. Uh, yeah, Elder God, I saw. What the hell is pea milk? It's awesome. Interesting. Pea milk. Never thought about pea milk. Check this out. Let's put this for our barberries. Let's put this on for this guy. Cool. Let's soak this guy. Let's get rid of this guy. Mm. 
Wait, pea milk or <laughs> lonely piggy says pea milk? What? <laughs> what the heck is oat milk? Oat milk is good. Oat milk is fantastic. Oat milk is really good. Creamy. Very good. Supreme leader of Twitch. How are you doing, Chicho? Your interior looks very light and summery with the bright colors and plants. Does it feel cozy during the winter? Dude, it feels cozy all the time. That's the way, look, gang, a lot of people say uh, there's this whole thing about, oh, you don't need a big space to live in, go small and go like this, right? And then they end up going out a lot, right? For me, I've always appreciated a little bit more space, right? So you can move around, grow plants, right? Have different areas to do different things, have space. And what that does is increases your rent or your mortgage, whatever you want to, however way you live, right? However, it saves you money on the going out part because you have a lot of things to do around the house. You got spaces different types of spaces to be you can invite people to come to your house you can cook you can you can just chill in your own space so that's the way i've lived uh, and i like it that way okay yeah oat milk i can't believe gluten earlier oat has a similar effect oat is a similar effect with pee okay yeah that's surely so Let's check it out. How much more time? We've got four more minutes. Salute, gang. Salute, salute, salute. And gang, here's to Assange. May he walk out of the prison as soon as possible and be a free human being. Okay. The world deserves it. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Yeah. Cheers indeed. Let's bring out the casserole dish. We're four minutes in, three minutes out, but it should be okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the time for another 35 minutes because we put the other casserole dish in there. All right. So I'm going to reset this. I'm going to go 35 minutes. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to bring the first casserole dish we put in there out. And this is our chicken dish. Nice. That's phenomenal. And we're going to make a plate. I'm going to show you what the plate looks like. Let's do this. Let's do this. Because it's important to have the second casserole dish in there long enough to crisp the bottom the potatoes this first one is not going to become crispy so the potatoes would have been cooked already let's check it out let's bring it out So I'm just centering. I centered the casserole dish as well. Wow! I would like to have your YouTube, uh, your YouTube too. Then let's check this out. Let's crack this open. Looking good. Looking good. Actually, I'm gonna need one of these guys, Chicho. Have you dug into any of the music from the music? I haven't yet, Ding Bobber. I'm waiting until we do the politics stream because I'm crazy. But when I do these sets of streams, I get really busy because I still have students that I'm dealing with as well. And, I, and then I'm uploading to YouTube and trying to get the SoundCloud stuff out. So I get crazy busy, right? As soon as we do the politics stream on Friday, I'm going to start delving into the movies and the music. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I figured you were super busy. 
with all these I know. <laughs> must be done. Must be done. <laughs> go big or go home, gang. Go big or go home. So, we need space. Let's check this out. Let me set this up properly. And thank you for the follows, gang, by the way. So, I'm going to bring out this guy. I'm going to show you what this is all about. And of course, you can have this with salad as well or cucumbers. And this dish is amazing with whatever you want on the side, right? But usually, like, uh, oven roasted potatoes is pretty good, right? Oven roasted roasted potatoes, carrots and whatnot. So you have your sort of rice over here. You have your chicken over here. And you have your uh, sweet date stuff i'll show you what it looks like and then some kind of salad some kind of greens and stuff what do you think of the old conan the barbarian oh the old conan the barbarian comes amazing amazing the supreme leader of twitch amazing savage sword of conan i consider it to be one of the greatest comic book series ever written right wait have you guys already decided on the next movies i cashed a lot yeah 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 we picked eight movies this time <laughs> we, we actually have a new discord uh, folder channel where it lists the movies and the music we're supposed to go through that's our homework right i didn't get the fly album nice benjamin clementine Mallor god ding bobber recommended that let's check this out can you guys see this yeah look at this right there's the potatoes there's the chicken Right. And you can mix it all in or flip it, right? And separate the potatoes, separate the potatoes on one side, separate the chicken on one side, right? And have the rice on one side. Or just pour it in and let whoever's eating the side where everything goes right so here's the potatoes here's the chicken right here's the rice but it all sort of mixes together nice now if our rice dish was done i would add more white rice to this a little bit right so here is take a look here let me show it to you here for now Here's the rice dish with lots of rice. There's the chicken chunks, right? You got chicken chunks here. Right, look at that. A little bit of nice crispiness there, the blackness. Right? You got your potatoes. Okay. What you can do now is take some of this, right? Let's put this guy here. Let's bring out another spoon. You can take some of the chicken with the casserole stuff, right? And put it on the side. If you want, some people really love sauce on the rice, right? So personally, I would add the sauce on the potatoes, right? So there is that part. And then you take the sweet paste. Let me show you. See the sweet paste that we made? The onion and uh, raisins and dates. And put this on the side. Let me put some on the side here. You don't need this guy. You put this on the side and then you take a little bit of extra of the barberries and you sprinkle it on top and some people don't make don't put the barberries in the rice they just make white rice and you can white rice and i've done it before white rice and just put barberries sauce on top make it a little bit more juicier and this is what we end up with right Here, let me take this down. I'm gonna take these these cameras down, gang. So you see. Okay. 
Let me put the lid back on this guy so it doesn't cool down too fast. Take a look. There's juices here. All right. So we got the rice, potatoes, chicken. Ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> and then we got chicken with mushrooms. And we got the dates and raisins and onions. Okay. Let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. Sauce on the rice is great in my yeah. I, I know a lot of people that love it and I, I like it as well depending but this is strong flavored food okay strong flavor and I usually like spoon uh, fork okay and you can mix in the chicken you can mix in the chicken Ooh, I don't have the camera there you can mix in the chicken with the rice And then we usually mix in the dates and raisins with the rice and just the tanginess and the tartness and the sweetness it's just a it's amazing mm. and then there's the chicken which is drier right because the potatoes sucked in the juice right so the chicken under the rice is a little bit drier than this stuff right again very delicious <laughs> those are herbs I took a picture of the harvest of cannabis that we had this year, right? We ended up getting uh, 11, 11 ounces, based almost 11 ounces of cannabis harvest this year. So that was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Super yummy. Is good for the whole year we'll see I don't I don't know if it's good for the whole year but it's good for a while <laughs> my favorite strain I don't have a favorite strain I like outdoor I like outdoor okay I like outdoor Hence, it's amazing that in Canada, I wish you could grow more, but you can grow four plants. Right. Cheers, gang. Look at that goodness. Like winter food. How strong? I don't know. I like it. Some people might get knocked out, but I don't. Some people might say it's too light, but I don't think so. It's good. Mm hmm. And the potatoes. very good and the potatoes give it a nice sort of a not as a strong flavor but the flavor is there because it's sucked in the juices all right sort of gives you a clean palate and then you can go at it again all right very yummy very yummy and of course you got the mushrooms Look at the mushrooms. Chicho, do you have a use for your already been vape bud? Hmm? Do you have a use for your already been vape bud? 
I I haven't made I haven't made uh, ding bobber. I know you can, uh, but I haven't done. I haven't done. I was just checking out the time on the oven. Secret ingredients: cinnamon and your bed. Gang, I hope if you end up making this food, you enjoy it. I'm going to put this on the side. I'll go back to it. New car box product is great to add to the peanut butter and just smash. Yeah, I've heard you can add oil to it. You can uh, turn it into butter, right? I haven't done. I haven't done. So, um, I thought about it for a while. I was saving all the vape byproducts in jars, but I was just doing so much. I didn't have time to do it. Right? No, uh, I should have actually passed it on to someone else. But you know, you can only do so much. You can only do so much. Salut, gang! Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the cook. Rip Genova. Nova. I'm going to give you a link for your question regarding fungi. It's uh, a trip report that I wrote. Uh, well, actually, I'll let you find it. It's on my page. If you go to chicho.com, chicho, remember those beavers I told you about in the southern Ontario in the summer? They didn't last the summer. Oh, they all. Oh, that's unfortunate. Great stream. Thank you. My pleasure, chef. Uh, just regarding fungi, yeah, I've had a tremendous amount of experience with uh, psilocybin. A lot. Okay, we'll talk about it in future streams, as well as uh, Salvia divinora in future streams. Okay. Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, super fun cooking for you i wish i could cook for you in person and share this food with you but i think sharing the recipes and the method and how i go about doing these things uh, is pretty important uh, and i hope if you end up cooking anything making anything that we do share i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy it my brother has a covid christmas ba -da -ba -ba. song out oh other god We'll post when I receive it. Awesome, Allah God. Wait, can you check out the art chart and this go? I can't. Just because I don't want to lose the connection, uh, I'm not going to check out anything on, on Discord right now. I will after. If not today, then tomorrow. Okay. Uh, wait, how how do you I find your trip report? Go to um, go to chicho.com. Here, I'll link it up for you. Here, I'll do this uh, this for you. Uh, mm -mm -mm. and this trip report made it on Earwid and the shroomery uh, there are two sites and I wrote this trip report in 2005 I think if you go to my site under uh, entheogens or psychedelics I call it psychedelics breaking the master cleanse with Brazilian cubenzies and salvia divinora here's the link for it okay That's a trip report I wrote. When did I write that? I wrote that in 2006. Okay. Probably experienced it in 2005 or something. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, boo boo hurts. Boo boo hurts. 12 days of COVID. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks for my pleasure, gang. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for following. Thank you for the discussions. Uh, Irwit to justify using. Da, 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 da. Got it. Awesome. Have a good one. You guys as well, gang. And gang, as for what this is all about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. Everything's layered on mathematics. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's creative commons, share and share alike. If the centralized powers, if the technocrats 
don't want us to share information it is our duty to share as much information as we can and this is a part of that okay so you can follow this work and if you like what you see if you think this works deserves your support financially patreon is a great way to do so okay and for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it's in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussions thank you for redeeming points thank you for the bids mods thank you for taking care of business and thank you for being here and having our back okay i do appreciate your support and i think we all do I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, Elo, Minds, VK, Gab, and Twitter. And we do share additional content on those platforms. And you can come to our Discord page at any time or Twitch page anytime. Thank you, Ars, Ar, Erisly. You can come to our Twitch page anytime. And in the chat, irrelevant if we're live streaming or not, you can type in exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up for our social networks including our discord page where there's a lot of people sharing a lot of information okay free speech channel i hope you make use of it and be kind when you go there and share information or participate in discussions decentralize your information gang for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts are available on sound on spotify and itunes okay and we will be uploading the stream both to bitshoot and youtube and you can support this work on bitshoot and youtube on those platforms by following liking commenting sharing turning on notifications and if you're on youtube if you notice that you haven't you're not subscribed on those channels any on my channel anymore subscribe again oh we're getting storm coming in can you hear the wind right and turn on notifications again because notifications sometimes don't go out on YouTube and sometimes YouTube censors and unsubscribes people okay aside from that if you're on YouTube there's a handful of people that are supporting this work by joining YouTube membership and if you do have the means you can support this work by joining YouTube membership there's a button down here and for those of you who support YouTube are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i hope you have a fantastic evening fantastic day fantastic morning fantastic afternoon and if you can make it tomorrow night we do meditation i'm going to show you a sort of a tai chi meditation standing meditation that i have done in the past that i want to get back into so this might help me to get back into it again and i'll show you what i know of it okay and on friday evening we're going to talk current events gang have a fantastic time eat amazing food bye everyone